Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Pupils of the Piprashet Basic School in the Doma East District of the Bono region set on pieces of logs during instructional hours. Stanley Niblu reports the school also shares an office with the community's chips compound. Piprashet is a hinterland community surrounded by more than four adjoining communities. The community is fortunate to have a school which for more than five years has been serving pupils in the catchment areas. <laughs> However, teaching and learning are done under harsh conditions. The Parents Teacher Association supported the school by providing some makeshift structures to accommodate the pupils. Made with bamboo, the structures protect the children from the scorching sun but expose them whenever it rains. Without adequate furniture, pupils strive to catch up with the day's academic activities. Few available desks serve primary pupils but seats are allotted pupils on first-come, first-served basis. Kindergarten pupils sit on pieces of logs. The dusty floor is an alternative. The situation, which has persisted for more than four years, makes concentration in class very difficult. Teachers posted to the school find the situation discomforting. Class teachers are also suffering in classrooms because the pupils don't have chairs uh, and tables, uh, they are suffering. All that we are saying is that the government should come to our aid. Some parents say they are interested in changing the fortunes of the school. The school also shares an office with the community's chips compound. The community allotted the place to the school after the authorities became stranded, accessing a place to keep their property. This is the office. Or no buy a jiggy hoon. Nti ye go so I ye office, you know. Ya ye dear hoon den. Ye yam won't free baby. Oko can't you empen in four na. Nya be ya say oh, yati, ye be boy, ye be boy. Moana so oh whom we be ya e free baby ya ba. A mad structure being constructed to serve as a school's office has stalled because the parents say they did not reap enough from the sale of their cocoa to buy roofing sheets. In spite of the challenges, teachers are doing their best to impact the pupils. We are doing our best to help the children because there's no other means of doing that. Doma East District Director of Education, Joseph Amwamensa, said the issue of furniture is widely spread in the district. Furniture is a big issue. From this I am saying that if need be, any contractor is awarded to any contractor to build classroom, they shouldn't leave the furniture components. They should also make sure they get the furniture into the place so that when you hand it over, uh, then it's a total turn. They enter in, they don't have much problem. District Chief Executive for Doma East, Emmanuel Kofi Ajuman, said plans are in place to address the phenomenon. Furniture is quite um, challenging. Do uh, government recently brought us some desk, but uh, it was way, way, way below uh, the, the quantity that we needed. Assembly is making that effort, um, but um, the budget line is not so huge. Um, what we have been doing is trying to do so much with something little. That is the effort we've been making. Our idea is that if we are able to get timber free of charge, then with the same amount of money, we should be able to do more of the furniture rather than giving it on contract and the person will have to go and buy wood and buy almost everything before he does it. Teachers and pupils of Pipra Shed require stakeholders' commitment in addressing their concerns. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.